better idea. What if we were inside a microwave with with Pepe looking at us? So how's everyone doing? Um, we beat Act One last night. Yay. <laughs> um, we still have buyers. I don't remember much of anything else. The worst part about this, right, is there's supposed to be a mirror game where you play as Tetrak on Earth called Haunt Switch. You know, Hive Swap, Haunt Switch. Ooh. Uh, that was also supposed to be five acts. It wasn't part of the original Kickstarter, but like probably not going to be on time. Yay. Oh, so this literally just picks up like at the beginning. This is literally a brand new game. Are you okay? Okay, so she has a hoodie. We fr like people freak out because she doesn't have horns because she's human. Also, like my voice was dead by the end of last street, like last night, this morning, whenever. My voice was dead. Ugh. How many people are going to be a lot? She's violet blood. Hemochroma, blah, 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 blah. Hemochroma, hemo, hemo spectrum. That's what it is. It looks like you're ready to begin your quest. If you need help on your journey, question mark, blah, 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 blah. Let's not put them through any more trauma. These are, um, because there was sound last night, right? There was sound when we were here last night, right? Like, I'm not, you don't need to send her a message. She's right here. Nice feather beast. Why is there suddenly no sound? Why is there no? We got it. Woo. We have to watch this part again. Oh no. What a shame. How did I do that? I don't. Yeah. So this was playing. How did I, how did I give up? I give up. I don't know how I broke it, but we're just going to roll with it, right? We're going to pretend none of this happened and that this is the real start of stream. Hey buddy. He seems a little stressed out. A closer look, you're pretty sure you know why. Oh. You going to pass out? No. Good, because I'm not catching you. Stop scratching at your wound. What would your Lucis say? He wouldn't say anything. He's dead. Oh. It's a hypothetical scenario. Mine's dead too, Nook Breath. Oh my god, are you guys okay? I'm being an idiot. Of course you aren't okay. It's fine. Sometimes you lose stuff. Sometimes a leg. Sometimes you lose the person who raised you from a grub. That's life. Wow. Uh. Do you know where we get kit tickets? Oh, so like red or blue determines who talks. Okay. Yeah, from that machine over there, but you can't just go right up there and use it. What do we have to do? You have to wait until that weirdo in the costume gets back from his break. He's the only one who knows how the, knows the trick to make that busted up machine work. I think he's in the cafe. Maybe you can convince him to come back early. Thanks. We'll go talk to him. I hope your leg is okay. I'm sure wherever it is, it's fine. I... Fucking hell. Fucking hell. How did she get here so quick? Oh. Oh. 
That sucks. Where are we? The last thing I remember is the explosion. I thought I was dead for sure. Bitey broad cheer cat. <laughs> Must have dragged us to safety. Wow, Bitey Broad Deer Cat, I never thought you'd do something like extract me from one of the silly situations I was I'm always getting into. I guess it's because Damik wasn't here to tell you any better. What well, about all those trolls back there? Are they okay? Should we try to help them? Uh I'm sure they're fine. Trolls are tough. Like, hey, even I'm still alive, right? If you're sure, but what about your Lucis? Wasn't he right behind us? Just a drum bombing, no big deal. I'm sure he'll find his way home to wait for me. Keep moving forward, right? But where do we go from here? Oh, oh no. I've never been this far from Outgleth before. I've never been this far from my plan. Neither of us know anything. Hey, that's not totally true. We might both own... Bleh. Welcome to I Can't Talk. We might both know only a few things, but maybe if we put our heads together, we'll, we'll know just enough. It'll all work out. Actually, Joey, I don't think so. To get out of here, we need to know where we were and where we're going. The only way we could figure either of those things out is if we had a map, or if we used the constellations to guide us. Which neither of us could do anyway because you're an alien and I'm stupid. We'll probably be lost forever. So I think what you just said was an example of how being able to put words in whatever order you want doesn't make what you said necessarily true. But it did sound really cool. You know, why don't we take a look around before giving up? I guess that's a good idea too. See what I mean? I'm too dumb to come up with plans like that by myself. That leads back down the mountain to the destroyed train station. Bidey Broad Deer Cat dragged you guys all the way up the mountain. Time to leave. If we can't go back the way we'll be cold. You don't think he'd fit down this craggy mountain path. Is he going to be all right? Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, wow. That is, that sure is a bug that's standing here just down in the middle of nowhere. A giant bug. Anyone else seen this giant bug? Poke him. What? No. <laughs> uh, um. Oh, whoa. There's no answer. Maybe it's abandoned. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? Guess not. What should we do? Good talk, guys. Good, good talk, Zephyrus. Ah. What is it? I'm sorry, it's just... Just what? Even with the hoodie, I can't stop freaking out about how you don't have horns. Oh my god. Yo, we can't get on the train like this. Everyone will know. Okay, okay, don't panic. Um... Why don't we take a look around? Maybe we'll find something. In, in someone else's hive? I don't know, that could end badly for us. You're right, stealing is pretty rude. But it's an emergency. What if we left something in exchange? I guess that'd be fine. As long as we do it in a way so that they can never track us down. Right, uh, I wonder how much money I have. Wait, obviously I don't have any money. I'm on another planet. I don't even know what you guys use for money. Money doesn't really... Oh, damn it. Like mementos and stuff? Yeah, kind of. Let's see what I've got on me. I have a Q-Bat. I might need that. Bat, are we expecting to play sport? Only if we're unlucky. There's this mic damn it gave me. No, that's probably crucial to future events. This spoon I bet might work. Why were you carrying around a bent spoon? Uh, it makes me feel some small semblance of confidence, I guess. Zephyros, please don't attach your self-worth to the fact you can bend a spoon. Anyway, I'll just leave this right here. Now let's go find you a better disguise. I was gonna leave the pogs, right? Like, wait, 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 wait. idea, 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 right? I have an idea. See the bug? Fires. To the bug. That thing will eat him. No. <laughs> But never mind, not buyers to not the bug. Oh. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Oh look, there's old dolls. There's 
Troll painting sets. Uh, um, um, rummage. I can't find my value. Oh, no, you can't find troll costume in this pile of junk. Oh boy. Oh, I hate. Th oh, I hate that. We can't leave without checking everywhere first. Oh, I guess I didn't check every. It will probably come alive and eat you. The person who lives here must be an artist. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Too bad they're not here to tell us. I've heard of a port point of art like this is to interpret it ourselves. What do you think it means? Hmm. I have no idea. I guess it could represent finding joy in the pure randomness of life. Oh, that sounds nice. But what if it means the exact opposite thing? The closer to lobby, a lobby like me gets to the Ascension Day, the more they fantasize about randomness. This could be an expression of the artist longing to break free from the constraints of the caste system. Of course, any troll caught making art like this would be cold for a sedition and Noza. But they couldn't keep pretending that they were loyally resigned to real life servitude anymore. And this is their last defined act of freedom. Oh, that would be really sad if it was true, wouldn't it? It must be nice to expire for something you believe in instead of living a long, pointless life. Knowing that you had a choice between safety and bravery, you chose the uncomfortable path. Which would you choose, Joey? I don't think I've ever had to think about it before. Oh. Sorry, sometimes I just speak without thinking. Zephyrus. Buddy. Please. Oh no. It must sound really dumb right now rambling like that. No, it's not a dumb question. Even if we never have to think about difficult topics, it's probably a good thing to do. Otherwise, we don't even realize we're choosing, right? Right. So which are we doing right now? Is this safety or bravery? Uh, this is starting to make my head hurt. I'm not even sure I know what it means to be brave. Well, I think when you're a low blood like me, most of your choices aren't really a choice at all. They're simply the only possible option in a given scenario. So to be brave and leave a legacy, you have to make a difficult choice. But what is a difficult choice? How do you recognize a real choice when you see one? Oh, they're really... It, this art piece sparked a conversation? I guess it would be a choice that wasn't obvious at the time. Like dying in a violent blaze of glory for the right to make ugly art. Or maybe it's just a monster with a bunch of feet. Yeah, that's probably it. That was a hell of a topic for just just a thing of art. Oh. Rummage. You can't find troll costume in this pile of junk. Sad. Would it be outside then? It would have to be outside. These mushrooms are huge. Your plant has mushrooms? Of course. When I was little, my dad taught me how to tell poisonous plants from edible ones in case I ever got lost in the wilderness. And now you are. Yeah, but I saw him get sick from something he ate on an adventure. So many times, I'm pretty sure he just made it all up. That's probably why I decided to stop trusting every anything he says. The one thing he's supposed to be good at is trekking through the savage underbrush. And he couldn't even teach me mushrooms which mushrooms are okay to eat? Well, not these ones. Bioglow mushrooms are the most poisonous fungus on Alternia. If you eat one, it will rot your stomach. When you touch them, they leave a residue that makes you burn up under moonlight like the sun is still out. Oh god. Except the gills have a subtle f Wait. There's another mushroom called the Noble Glow that looks almost exactly the same, except that the gills have a subtle fold that grows in the opposite direction. By laying flat on your back beneath the mushroom, checking our global coordinates to me. Oh, I'll do that right away. Did that first? No, I was kidding. What? Sir? Sir? What the fuck is this cave?
Wait, I think I see something. Oh, hey, horns. They look just like horns. Wow, they really do. So does does he have them? Is that He doesn't have them. Time to leave, I guess. Oh boy.